is up, you guys? I hope you're having a wonderful day. It is a day with me and you. Just us today. A beautiful day in Singapore. Sunny Singapore. It's very hot today. But I must say, it is also very windy today. <laughs> very strong winds. If you look at the trees behind me, it is a very windy day today. <laughs> Well, actually, you just have to look at my hair to know it's a very windy day. Thank God I'm with the Lavadier mic today. I hide it under my shirt, so hopefully there is no wind noises. I hope. I hope that works. See, this is the kind of things you learn along the way while vlogging, and you learn to adapt to wind noises, you learn exposure, you learn all the secrets, tips, tricks. So. If you have a lava deer mic, hide it under your shirt. Chances are, they may not have any wind noises. I'm saying chances because I'm not sure yet until I go back and edit this video. <laughs> Today we are at MBS. As you can see, Marina Bay Sands. I am just here um, hanging out. Yeah, just chilling. Just to see what I haven't explored yet, what I haven't discovered. I haven't been here for a while. Well, at least not during the day. And especially early in the morning like that. It is now like about 10 a.m. And the reason why I'm out early today is because I didn't sleep last night. I just spent the whole night editing videos. So pardon me if I'm feeling a little bit tired. <laughs> but no, I'm pumped up. I'm pumped up today because today it's a you and I day. Just us. And at Marina Bay Sands. Woohoo! In other words, it's just a hangout day with me. And it should be fun. We're gonna have something nice to eat. We're gonna see nice stuff. We're gonna, well, you'll see. MBS, Marina Bay in the morning. It's really empty. There's not a lot of people here. I mean, partially because this area is a tourist site. And of course, because of COVID-19, there is no tourists. That means all the shops inside, I think they should be open, but there'll be very little people inside. So you guys, this, this little globe here, that's the Apple store. And this over here, that's Louis Vuitton. Isn't it how amazing that only these two stores have their own separate um, store out in sea, whereas <laughs> the rest, they are all in this uh, shopping mall. See guys, a store by itself, out in sea. I wonder how much they pay for rental there. We went here for the Marvel Museum the last time, but... Oh yeah! They have Star Wars this time round. So over here, this is the Art and Science Museum. Okay, no promises guys, but let's see if they have tickets. I'm not gonna promise you on this vlog yet, but let's... Well, actually, you'll probably see the uh, thumbnail of this vlog and you'll probably know what this is gonna be. But right now, I can just say no promises and uh, let's hope. Let's hope if they have tickets. Because the last time when they first opened, we were checking out on the tickets and it was all sold out. And because due to COVID, they only sell a certain amount of tickets per day. So let's see if they have tickets today. and science museum. Let's do this, guys. So guys, we are in the art science museum and we are supposed to go to basement two to get our tickets. So let's go down. Look at this place, guys. Whoa. Love the architect. Beautiful, isn't it? You know, I was so worried because when I came in, the info counter, the guy, he asked me if I have a ticket. I said, no. I said, I'm here for the Star Wars. And then he's like, oh, no worries. Just go down to basement two and buy a ticket. I was like, yes. Oh, ticketing counter just behind me. Morning. Is the Star Wars ticket over here? Yep, you can buy the ticket over here. Just time here, sir. Yes. Okay. So you're Star Wars fans? I guess so. <laughs> okay. Thank you, enjoy. Th thank you. Oh, guys, I got it. <laughs> and it's at level three, so we got to take the leaf. That's the leaf there. Going up. Oh, the leaf is here. Okay, 
third floor. Let's do this. Ooh, I'm so excited. You guys, you have no idea. I feel like today is my lucky day. To have a slot today, what are the chances? I think it's my lucky day. Oh, it's XO, okay. <laughs> Very bright sun back there. It's here. Hello. Just my ticket. Yes. And you have your mask on at all times. Okay. Uh, so this wristband will be given to you. Ooh. Great. Thank you very much. Enjoy yourself. All right, go in, guys. Activate the wristband. Oh. With the logo? Yeah. Activate? Correct. Punch the mic. Okay, done. Thank you. That's how it's done? Yeah. That's <laughs> what you are about to experience is an adventure into identity. So what we are supposed to do is we're supposed to find our identity here. <laughs> here is the set of heroes that I have to choose. Who should I be? Hmm. <laughs> wow. You know what? I have to be a human. Oh, guys, look at all the costumes. <laughs> BB-8, R2-D2, C-3PO, <sighs> Boba Fett. Yep, that's Boba Fett. And then the clone troopers. That's so cool. You guys, here are the droids. Very nice. Okay, station two. Scanning. Design your genetic makeup. I'm a male. Well, okay. Ooh, the force is strong with this one. <laughs> oh, C3PO and R2. How cool is this, man? Seriously. <laughs> all the art, all the work of modeling goes into this. That little piece of device, that is a Qui Gon Jinn's communicator. The next station is you're leaving home at a young age to follow your dreams. What do your parents say? <laughs> sure, whatever. The amount of work, the amount of art that goes into making this movie is impressive, seriously. I'm impressed. I'm impressed with the amount of work that goes into this movie. <laughs> All nine movies, by the way. What planet are you from? Let's decide. Come on, scan it. Okay. My name is Lionel. Ooh, I like Coruscant. Done. fantasy world of Star Wars don't just happen. All this, all this design, all this concept art has to be created first. It doesn't just happen overnight. The amount of art that goes into this, it's impressive. Hey, I like this guys. <laughs> the Jawa. Ah, I remember you. You're the um, Tusken Raiders. Oh, Jabba the Heart. Here are the trials and the trials. And then it goes to here. And finally, it comes here. See the evolution of it. <laughs> well, I mean, not evolution, but uh, the transformation to the final product. No, this is the final product. <sighs> Look at that. This is his eyes. <laughs> you tell me you never dream of the golden bikini ever? Come on. Princess Leia's golden bikini. It's everybody's fantasy. <laughs> I'm sorry, Han Solo. If only I can set you free. Wait, it should be one of those buttons at the sides. This is station five. I think it's a lot more complicating. Well, I mean, more choices. Follow the path that leads to your mentor. Would it be Boba Fett, Han Solo, Chewbacca, Darth Maul, Wai Gon Jin, Darth Vader? Very likely. Yoda, Obi-Wan, Darth Sidious, Padme Amadella, Princess Leia, Art. <laughs> It'd be funny to select this. I'm a fan of Vader. 
guys, even the Clone Wars, the Star Wars animation, <laughs> there's still art involved in this. The original Yoda. Impress, you must. Do or do not, there is no try. This is how Yoda was drawn at the start. And then he came to this. And then this. And then it got slightly better. Almost there. And then boom. You look a lot better now. Wow, 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 wow. No way. Wow. I mean, this is so freaking cool. You guys, seriously, wow. <laughs> look at the X-Wing fighter uniform. No, actually, this is Luke Skywalker's uniform. I mean, when he was flying the X-Wing. Got all the helmets here. What's happening? What's happening? Are they all flying off? <laughs> Ooh, the Millennium Falcon! Now, I would want to keep this in my room, for sure. You guys remember the iconic dinner with Vader? And we are here at station number six. Who do you hang out with? Yeah. Okay, for this, uh, two people. Okay. That's all? <laughs> so you don't do anything here? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> wow. Look at all the costumes. Wow, Chewbacca is big. No joke, man. Look at how tall this guy is. <laughs> He's huge. Yeah, I mean, I didn't like the first. You look a lot better this way. Number seven. Scan this. Uh, okay. What do I do? Definitely this. <laughs> okay. I'm still gonna be on the dark side. <laughs> Choose your occupation. So we have different, different, different occupation. Senate, farmer, fighter pilot, musician, Jedi Knight, merchant, and bounty hunter. Okay, Jedi Knight. You know what, guys? I honestly love Padme's costumes. Look at this. It's beautiful. How do you behave? Define your personality. Wow, lots of questions. Oh, I love to learn new things. I love being around people. You pick a fight and get into argument easily. Eh, okay, fine. No. <laughs> I would say I would more on this. I like getting things done as soon as possible. Mm. I don't get upset so much. Mmm, yes. I'm full of energy to take on the world. I'm like confused whether I'm playing the dark side or the light side. <laughs> yep. Okay, last one. This is more like impatient. Saving personality. We're done. We are at number 10 now. What is important to you? You know what? I'm just gonna do this. Power. Wow, guys, this is so cool. Wow. Can I say this guy's my idol? Like, this is the guy, this is the reason I watch Star Wars. Very, very nice, guys. You guys, I finally met my master. Well, great. Now you're making me choose. Join the Emperor, reject the offer. So I think here is where you see the end product of your decision. What have I got? Ooh. All right. <laughs> I look pretty good there. Well, that's my end product. I think we're done. There's a Star Wars merchandise over here. Hmm, t-shirts. Wow. Pop heads and some books. You guys, what a start for today. <laughs> I told you it's gonna be fun with me. I spent, well, what time is it now? I spent 
about one and a half hours in there. <laughs> it's crazy, man. So, okay, let me give you a quick breakdown of what this Star Wars museum is like. Honestly speaking, there were not a lot of exhibits. There were lots of costumes, lots of models, but that's pretty much it. Everything else were like interactive. Interactive stuff with the wristband. I would say that's pretty much like 60 to 70% of the whole exhibit doing this interactive, choosing your path and whatsoever. Okay, I'll give them a bit of points for that to make it a little bit more entertaining and dragging the tour a bit more. But I was like hoping to get the Millennium Falcon cockpit or something. You know, that would be cool. I thought like I could see like a lightsaber or how they build a lightsaber or something like that. I think it's just a museum for costumes and models. Well, what a start for today, isn't it, huh? <laughs> Crazy. I wonder how long my vlog is already as of now. <laughs> All right, time to get something to eat. I'm hungry. All right, guys, let's head into Marina Bay Sands and see what we can have for lunch. Now, if you know, because of COVID, we can't just go through any glass door. We have to find the entrance. What a beautiful sunny day today. I'm guessing over here, here is where <laughs> I can go in. Finally found a door that says entry. You know, it's so weird to see Marina Bay Sands like that. I mean, we see Resorts World this way. Coming to Marina Bay Sands, I mean, it's kind of expected it's going to be quiet. But seeing it for yourself is unbelievable. We need tourists in Singapore. I need a holiday. I need to get out of Singapore. I'm not going to lie, guys. That is pretty cool. So you guys, I think I will go to Vivo City. There is not much to eat over here, to be honest with you. But look, there's a really nice fountain. Look at these guys. Whoa. It's like some sort of vortex. Wow. Look at how the water is going all the way down. and That's pretty cool. There is this restaurant in Vivo City. I've been meaning to show you guys. And I want to eat there. I think today is the day. So we'll just snap straight to Vivo City, um, cut the B-roll. We have enough of B-roll today. And I'm here back at my favorite everyday Vivo City. To be honest with you, over here, it feels more lively than in Marina Bay Sands. Now, the reason why I wanted to come to this restaurant is because the last time Angel and I came to Shake Shack over here, she told me to try this restaurant. It's barbecue grill food. So I figured like, you know what? I want to try it this time. See, I remember the location of the restaurant. I just don't know the name of it. That's how terrible and bad I am, guys. Aha, we are here. It's called the Queen and the Mangosteen. All right, let's do this. Look at this place. Look at the food, look at the menu. Looks good, isn't it? Thank you. All right, I'm here. Everything here looks very good. I want to have everything. Even this, look at it, the grilled chicken. And look at the burger with the egg. Oh my. So it's not really barbecue food here. It's just Western food, but uh, pretty good deal. I need to take this off now. So what I did was that I ordered two meals, two lunch meals. Now they have like a lunch deal offer right now, which is $9.90 for a dish. So I actually ordered two so that I can show you guys more variety. What I'm having right here is the quesadillas and the salmon. I haven't had quesadillas since chilies. That's how long. So I miss quesadillas. Mmm, very meaty. Better than chilies, definitely. Oh, this is very good. Oh man, I love it. Very nice. Quesadillas pass. Let's try the salmon. This green sauce. Bon appetit. Oh my. The salmon is cooked really, really well. Mmm. And it comes with the sweet potato and the broccoli. Oh yeah. Oh boy. Lunch was awesome. So generally, most of their dishes on the menu is around the $20. But because of the lunch deal, it's like half the price. However, I must say, that their lunch menu, the portion is very small. If you're not a big eater, that's good because $9.90 for a delicious meal is worth it. But if you like to have something that is very filling, then maybe you have to be like me, order two 
lunch set, Thai actually ate two lunch sets. But it wasn't that big anyways. It was just nice. And I don't even feel like super full. It's not that I'm eating a lot, guys. It's not. You see, it's weird. Today, I plan to spend the day with you guys, the day vlogging. Sometimes, I do one thing and it takes up the whole day. And it's enough for a 20 minute vlog. I don't think you guys want me to continue on with a 30 minute vlog. I think it's a bit too much. So anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed today's vlog and I will see you in the next one. You guys keep smiling. See ya. I miss Sentosa. I miss this place. So much memories there. You guys, I've just checked my camera. I already have 130 clips on this camera for today's vlog, right now. I believe most of it is from the Star Wars. All right, it's starting to get hot and I'm sweaty now. <sighs> See you in the next vlog.